However, the first piece on first word, a pharma giant that's been under the weather will make way for the world's best performing steel stock on the Nifty 50. NSE has announced the new constitution of the indices after the biannual rejig. Dashan Mata is here with which stocks have made the cut and what could the implications be? Dashan, good morning. Good morning, Neeraj. Uh, the basic implication only happens on the Nifty, not too much on uh, the other indices. But uh, nevertheless, uh, the change that's come in is that uh, JSW Steel has come in and uh, Lupin has gone out. And there, there were two suitors that probably could have come in. One of them was JSW Steel and the second one was Britannia. This time around, JSW Steel makes it. There are set criteria that uh, the NSC has uh, for the inclusion or exclusion. So that this time around, Lupin didn't make it and JSW Steel did. So that's the news now. Now, how does this this affect the imp impact the index first of all uh, JSW steel according to Edelweiss will come in with a weightage of 0.76 percent Lupin has a weight of half a percent on the nifty currently so this balance uh, 0.26 percent will be shaved off from certain stocks we are not sure which they will be but some of the weightages of some of the other stocks will come down on the nifty how will this impact now uh, uh, there will be a uh, till the time so this is effective till end of September so from now till till the end of September there will be two and a half crore shares of bond of uh, JSW Steel and almost 57 lakh shares selling of uh, Lupin. Now, how does this work? Because, you know, a lot of global funds, they can't individually track uh, individual counters. So, what they do is that they map their uh, portfolio to the Nifty. So, if, let's say, JSW Steel is coming in, they will have to include JSW Steel in the portfolio and if Lupin is going out, they will have to remove Lupin. So, that's the trend that's been seen. But the, the trend that we've seen of late has, has been really uh, surprising because uh, if, if we take a look at from what happened from the last inclusion now in the last inclusion Orbindo Bosch and Ambuja and the, the effective of April uh, 2nd these stocks were out of the nifty since then Orbindo is up 16% Bosch is up 2% and Ambuja is down 1.6% now what's happened to the companies that have come in into the nifty now Bajaj Finserv is on a roll, roll of its own because of how Bajaj finance has performed so that's up 32% so that's something that you need to watch out for nothing to do you know with the nifty as such but Grassim and Titan the two big inclusions Inclusions in the Nifty that happened last time around, they have given negative returns. And historically, if you see what has happened is that companies that usually go out of the Nifty tend to outperform the companies that come into the Nifty. And 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 we, we, last time the Nifty revision happened, we also spoke about it. So it's a trend that we've observed as as of late that you know companies going out of the Nifty probably tend to outperform the companies that come into the Nifty. Now, uh, which are the other changes that have happened? The Nifty Next 50, which is basically the Nifty Junior or the next best 50 companies apart from the Nifty. So here the inclusion includes surprisingly Bandhan Bank has come in, couple of life insurance company HDFC Standard Life, ICICI Lombard, Biocon comes in, Lupin shifts from the Nifty to here and New India Assurance. So insurance as a play is finding a lot of uh, space here. JSW Steel is excluded because it goes into the Nifty, but surprisingly Cummins, Imami, uh, PFC, REC, all these companies go out, maybe because of the price performance, PFC and REC have gone out. Uh, the next index that we want to talk about is the mid-cap 50. Again here, for, from uh, the next 50, uh, REC, PFC and PNB have come in, uh, even Cummins comes in from that index. The entrant here is Jubilant Foodworks, and the exclusion this time around is, uh, you know, there's IDFC, PC Jewelers, as well as Adani Power, they go out. Biocon moves into the nifty next 50 and finally what's happening on the small cap end of the market certain inclusions by uh, there is Bajaj uh, the number is much wider we've just narrowed it down to five stocks India Bulls real estate the IT rally has seen KPIT and NIT tech come in Radico finds a mention but what goes out is surprisingly Karnataka Bank uh, Repco HEG as well as Shrey Infra a couple of questions. Uh, escorts the exclusion uh, uh, from from this list, uh, uh, notwithstanding. I think uh, the names like Bajaj Electricals and Radico are well deserved. But the Nifty Next 50, Darshan, that's an interesting one you mentioned, that insurance find its way in a meaningful way. Yeah. I can understand HDFC Life and ICSA Lombard to an extent. New India Assurance as a stock, uh, has it done that much or is it just it, it hasn't, it that hasn't, space funding is it, mentioned? It hasn't, but you know, uh, see, there are certain rules that the Nifty has that, you know, certain criteria have to be met it's not that uh, and it's it's a it's, it's not ad hoc, yeah right? it's not ad hoc that they do it so new india assurance probably finds its way i don't know why it finds its name but but uh, but the street generally uh, says that you know it, it, the valuations are, are when the entire insurance industry has moved up uh, new india assurance hasn't done much so probably 
probably this could be the time that you know uh, there could be some move that you could see in the counter. You know, Bandhan Bank doesn't surprise me, but what is interesting, Dashan, out here is that a lot of market experts have told us, right, that at some point of time on the Nifty 50, mm. insurance will make its presence felt, and that just raises the weight of financials even more. So yeah. this could well be a precursor. I mean, on the market criteria, these stocks are probably higher than a lot of other Nifty names as well. But this is probably a precursor, right? Yeah, probably it could be. The other surprising thing that I, I, I see is that you know after a while, metals again has seen a little bit of weight increase because uh, Tata Steel and JSW Steel and uh, Hindalco are the only two uh, Nifty companies in the metal. Pharma again, you know, after Orbindo was uh, was out of the Nifty last time around, Lupin. So uh, despite the fact that Pharma is now again seeing uh, you know a rally that's coming in, Lupin goes out. It has problems of, of its own. But but Neera, uh, just watch this because surprisingly trend and it has always happened that the companies that go out of the Nifty probably don't have the pressure of performing as a Nifty stock, if you can say it. And it's it's a trend that we've we've observed this for a while. So I won't be surprised if that you know Lupin starts to outperform JSW Steel, and JSW Steel is at record highs. It's outperformed. It's up almost 30% uh, on a YTD basis when the entire metal counter uh, are in the negative territory. So probably this could be uh, you know the Nifty curse, as you could say it, uh, <laughs> for some of the companies that come out.